When using a MIDI or instrument track, you can use the pencil tool to pencil in notes. Here we've got a low F sharp that we played in an earlier movie. So now I'm going to pencil in some notes after. I'm in grid mode and the grid is set to 16th notes. The grid resolution is set here. Using the pencil tool, I'll pencil in a two bar rhythm. Okay, and now that I'm done, well, let's take a listen. Okay, the last bit I'd like to be a little bit tighter. So to do that, I'm going to erase the notes and I'll hold Option and you'll see that the pencil flips over so that it shows the eraser. And I'll erase them and I'll change the grid to 30 second notes. So here the notes are much tighter. Okay, cool. So now, if I want to change the notes, I can use the hand grabber tool and select around notes and push them around. I actually want these notes a half step higher. And I can do that to any of these notes to select them and push them wherever I want. If I want to make the notes longer, I'll use the trimmer tool click a note and then trim it out. So here I lengthen the note and then I can shorten the note. If I want to apply the action to a range of notes, I can select a range, then choose the trimmer tool to trim out the range or trim in the range. So it, it's a pretty intuitive thing if you want to affect multiple notes select them and then choose the function that you wish to enable so trimming or pitch changing etc now one thing about MIDI is that the volume of a note is really linked to what's called velocity and that's how hard or how fast rather you strike a key on your keyboard think about it this way if you're playing piano and you strike a key really fast that is going to produce a very loud note if you strike the key slowly it's going to produce a softer note so what we'll do is we'll edit the velocity of this particular patch so that way or pattern rather so that way it gives us a more dynamic performance to edit the velocity we'll go over to notes and choose velocity and now we use the hand grabber tool to adjust these small diamonds and i want to have louder first notes and quieter second and third notes and I'm looking to sort of randomize this a little bit so that it gives me a more humanistic performance. Okay, so I'm ramping up the last bits of the measure and then a strong strike on the first parts of the measure. Okay, now that it's done, zoom out and take a listen. Okay, cool. That sounds nice and varied. And if I want to adjust all of the handles in relation to each other, I can choose the selector tool, select the handles, and then trim up or down with the trimmer tool and see how it scales them relative to each other. So that's kind of nice. So to edit notes, you would go back to note editing, and then you'd choose your tool in Pro Tools 
to push notes around, to trim them, to adjust the length, to select a bunch, and then push them around, or to trim the lengths. If you wanted to adjust the velocities, you'd go to velocity and then essentially do the same thing. Select, trim, or edit.